I just received a Hot Toys Grail. Let's talk about it. So I've been collecting Hot Toys for a couple of years now and there was one figure on my list that I never thought that I would actually get. You're probably thinking it's a Marvel figure. Well, it's not. It's something completely different. It's the Terminator T-800 Battle Damaged Edition. This guy is awesome and he's very hard to come by. It just so happened that I saw him pop up on Macari and I just had to have it. So a couple things about this figure, it was released in 2014, so it's a pretty old figure. One warning from the Macari seller was that the jacket that came on this figure fell apart. Very similar to the Winter Soldier jacket from the 2014 Captain America Winter Soldier film. I actually have him and uh, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty rough, look at that just flakes and falls off. Just picking them up makes little flakes fall all over the table and in my hands. Luckily, the seller purchased the Terminator 2 jacket and packaged it up with this battle damaged T-800 figure from the first Terminator. Thank God, because that is one extra thing I do not have to worry about. I did not feel like dealing with another flaky jacket. So enough of all the talking, let's get right into this figure. All right, so let's pull the top off the box here. Oh, that's cool. So there's like a little hole right here showing all the different battle damage. These are actually all holes. And look, it leads right into this cover part right here. So you see all the little holes of battle damage. That's cool. He looks awesome. I can't wait to see what he looks like outside the box. There's a famous scene in the Terminator film where he takes all the guns from the gun shop and then kills the gun shop owner. And he actually comes with a bunch of those guns. So he comes with the 12 gauge autoloader, the 45 long slide with the laser sighting. He came with this machine gun and he comes with this revolver. And this even spins and the hammer actually goes back a little bit. That's pretty awesome. He comes with some battle damaged hands and then he also comes with non battle damaged hands. Oh, and here's one of the head sculpts. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. So as you can see all over this box, that is exactly what happens to the original jacket that comes with the figure, unfortunately. And how did I forget the iconic sunglasses? Those are awesome. So here's the jacket. Obviously, it does not look good at all. There's some major damage to this thing. It is just horrible. It scares me when I buy any figure that has material that looks anywhere like this because I know that the life of it is very, very short and that eventually one day it will just crumble apart. All right, so let me just brush all of the old jacket away. Oh my God. So here's the stand and it might look familiar to some Iron Man Mark VII collectors. This is the same stand that they packed in with that figure but the Terminator T-800 originally came with this stand. What's cool about this, however, is that they put blood all over the street there. That looks really, really cool. Oh, look, it has an on and off switch, so it must have some sort of light up feature. I noticed right up front, it has these little light looking things. So I'm assuming that this thing is gonna light up. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Here is the figure. The detail is awesome. I am such a huge Terminator fan, one of my favorite films of all time. It's hard for me to say which one is my favorite between the first and second one, but this figure just looks phenomenal. And he comes with all the pieces that you would desire when buying a figure like this, all the different guns. It reminds me of the scene from the film when he's walking around inside of the police station. That was a great scene, and he's walking around basically annihilating the police. This is that Terminator. So you can see all the battle damage. He has some holes in his jacket here. He has some holes in his shirt. You can see a little bit of blood here also. All right, so his head actually comes apart so you can light it up. So both heads light up with that red eye. And like you, I really wanna see what that looks like. So you heard the old saying, rob Peter to pay Paul. Well, that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm gonna remove the batteries out of this Star-Lord and put them into the Terminator figure because I didn't realize that I would need batteries. I took the batteries out of Star-Lord and I put them in my Terminator. There you go, look at that, a lit up eye, just like the movie. Oh, oh, hold on. There it is, oh, that looks up. Okay, so apparently the batteries are either dead or that's some sort of safety mechanism in the Terminator because on my other figures with lights, there's a switch. This is literally a button where it comes on just for a moment and then it just goes off. 
So maybe I'll have to get new batteries for this guy because something just isn't right. And I just have to say, I love how the battery compartment is so easy to get to. You just lift off the back of the head and there's a magnet under there and it just clips right on. It's very simple, very easy, and the head actually stays on unless you really jolt it, then it might fall off like that. But overall, the thing just stays on. I mean, who's really running around and swinging their Terminator everywhere anyway? I don't think we talk much about how amazing the battle damage effects really are. The blood almost looks wet or something. It's very realistic looking. And on the hands, it's sort of the same way. You can see some of the metal protruding. You can see a piece of the metal kind of sticking out of the finger here. It is a really neat looking effect and it makes it look hyper realistic just like it came out of the film. Okay, so we just have to put the sunglasses on to finish the look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's amazing. Look at that. That is Arnold through and through. It looks just like him. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was the stand. I actually put batteries inside the stand so we could see what it's really supposed to look like. So the stand has the switch here, you turn it on, and boom, these little lights come on, which is pretty cool. And I guess it'll illuminate the Terminator a little bit if you have him sort of in a dark place on your shelf, but that's a neat little added feature. I also love the fact that they put this little Terminator T-800 plaque on here. That's really cool. Additionally, I love the little pipe bomb they added here. Of course, this doesn't come on the Iron Man Mark 7 stand, but the fact that it's on here is really cool because that is something that is used in the film. My idea was never really to stray away from Marvel because Marvel can get very expensive and there are a lot of characters, but when I saw that they made a Terminator hot toy, I knew I had to have it. And the only other hot toy in the movie realm that I need, for 100% sure I need a Robocop, Badly. So if you're a Terminator fan, this is the figure for you. He looks amazing. The only thing you have to watch out for is that jacket, but of course you can get a replacement like we have here. It looks really great on him. You can barely tell the difference, but boy, this figure has everything I was hoping for and more in a Terminator figure. One thing I wanted to test out was taking off the back and just seeing how that light comes through the sunglasses. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. I love that, that's amazing. So that's one Grail Hot Toys figure out of the way. There aren't many figures that came out way long ago that I consider a Grail. This was a figure that I was really worried about, one that I never thought they'd re-release ever again. Now, they might at some point in the near future, you never know with Hot Toys, but until then, I am really glad to have this guy. Guys, what do you think about this T-800 Hot Toys figure? Isn't he amazing? Battle damage is the way to go with this character, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this figure and more in the comment section down below. If you're looking for an awesome collector's group, head over to Facebook right now and join Castlecast We Hunt Together. We talk about all things collectible to include hot toys like this guy right here. So head over to Facebook now and join today. All right, guys, that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. I'll be back.